When learning to draw, the first question that I get from students is, what is the best drawing paper to use? In today's video, I will show you some of the drawing papers I use and also tell you the three things that I look for when I'm choosing a drawing paper for a particular project. Number one is quality. I always try to use the finest quality materials for my drawing projects. First, because it will give me the greatest results for what I am drawing. If I'm putting all of that time and effort into a drawing, then I want it, I want it to turn out the best it can possibly be. Number two, if it's for a client, I owe it to them to use the best quality materials that I can find because it's their loved one that I am drawing and also for the longevity of the actual piece. Number two is the GSM or the weight of the paper that I'm using. So GSM stands for grams per square meter and it is the way that paper is measured or the weight of the paper is measured. The weight of the paper will determine what you actually use the paper for, what sort of project that you use it for. If you're just doing drawing with charcoal or graphite, probably anywhere from about 100 GSM to 220 to 280 GSM will be suitable for drawing. You can really use any weight of paper for drawing, but if you're going to add wet media like watercolour or inks then you have to consider using a heavier type paper, a heavier GSM. Here are a few brands that I've used for drawing papers. Strathmore, always a good brand. It's got a very good range of different papers for different purposes. This one here is 130 GSM. It has a yellowish tinge this particular drawing paper. So it's something that you would have to like using, having that yellowish tinge in the paper. Then you've got Canson, very reasonably priced, good visual journal with cartridge paper that's around about 120 GSM. Or Quill brand is another one. This one's 125 GSM nice big spacious A3 art journal. Then you've got Bristol, Strathmore Bristol paper. Now this is very smooth, very smooth to use for drawing, ink work, charcoal. Here you've got Strathmore charcoal paper and this comes in assorted colours which gives you another dimension to your work. I also use watercolour paper when I'm doing mixed media drawings so that's drawings with watercolour or ink anything wet. So the two main ones that I use are archers Rough and Saunders Waterford 300 GSM Smooth. So your rough paper, as you can see, has quite a good texture in it. And the Saunders, you can see how smooth that is. There's not as much tooth, which is what we will speak about next. Number three is tooth, the tooth of the paper. Tooth is an important consideration for the project that you're doing. It will depend on what you're actually drawing with and what you want the end result to be. Tooth is the texture in the paper that holds the drawing medium that you're using. Some people like paper with a whole lot of tooth in it, like thick, rough paper, 
like I showed you with the Archer's rough watercolour paper. Other people like a smoother paper that doesn't have as much tooth. Personally, I like a little bit of tooth in the paper, but when I'm trying to get, say, fine skin tones on a child's portrait, I don't want it to be too rough. I don't want them to look like they've got a bad case of acne. So it's a choice of what project you're doing, what media you're using, and what end result you want. Tooth can give texture and interest in a drawing too. So there is a lot to take into consideration. Personally, Fabriano Academia is my favorite paper for drawing portraits. It has a lovely fine tooth that enables me to get the smooth skin tones. When I first started to draw, I thought paper is paper is paper. What's the difference? But as it turns out, paper can make or break your project. You need to experiment and find out what is right for you and the project that you're doing. One more tip when you're drawing. Place a sheet of paper down where you can rest your hand on to minimize the transfer of dirt, oil and sweat onto your paper and also try not to handle your paper too much as all of this will mar the drawing. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about drawing papers, leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you.